This new discovery of controlled substances and medications inside several pill bottles in Jim Irsay's SUV today renews concerns about an old problem. Eyewitness News reporter Sandra Chapman joins us here with that part of the story tonight. Sandra. And Marie, the narcotics police found last night were not associated with any of the prescription bottles found inside Jim Ursay's vehicle. These are highly potent controlled substances that Mr. Ursay has struggled with on and off for more than a decade. One longtime friend says he believes Ursay can overcome it. Jim Ursay has battled whispers about his sobriety as far back as 1995. That's the year his name first surfaced in the midst of an Indianapolis Police Department investigation. Dr. James Dickerson, who is now deceased, had written Ursay numerous prescriptions for powerful opiates like Lorset. Local pharmacists raised red flags. Dickerson lost his license, and Jim Ursay quietly went to rehab. Fast forward to November 2002, Jim Ursay issued a public statement admitting he was addicted to painkillers after a WTHR investigative report. Ursay said he had become dependent on prescription pain medications after several years of orthopedic operations and procedures. At the time, his name had emerged in a federal DEA investigation targeting the prescribing habits of local plastic surgeon Dr. Greg Chernoff. Dr. Chernoff agreed to three years probation as part of a settlement with the Indiana Medical Licensing Board for failing to properly document patient treatment. Jim Ursay re-entered treatment himself. Jim Ursay emerged. In 2007, he would see his team win its first Super Bowl. Then last October, more questions surfaced. Jim Ursay went on his Twitter account to defend allegations that he might have been under the influence during an ESPN interview. He wrote, I'm working. Sorry, naysayers. I don't drink. Haven't in over 15 years, he tweeted. Ursay appeared to have cut ties with many of those involved in earlier cases. Some of those involved have died. Others moved on. One local doctor who says he tried to help Jim Ursay overcome his addictions spoke with us today by phone. Tom Hoshauer tells Eyewitness News he still believes in Jim Ursay, saying he is a winner. Hoshauer says he hasn't seen Ursay for many years, but believes he can overcome this. I wish him the best, he said. Now, Ursay received no discipline in the 2002 case. Then NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue had been in discussions with investigators about Jim Ursay's admitted addiction and his stints in rehab. Tonight, many of his fans are still wishing him well with his journey. 